So there are two really important things you need to send via email or text every single time you get a new lead. And so the first thing is, is you need to have a long-term engaging drip campaign. And that is not just two weeks, at least a year, and you want it to be high touch. The second thing is, is you want to be sure that you're sending them listings. They want to see listings, whether they're a buyer or seller, they want to know what's going on in their market. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up number two really quickly and automatically so that you will also see an increase in your website as it scoots up the ranks of Google. Let's check it out. So today we're going to talk about setting up your recurring property listing and market updates. And so just because somebody signed up today doesn't mean that they only want the listings today. They're going to want them from now on. So in whatever it is that you're offering, this is what we're talking about. You have to figure out what you're going to send them and where you're going to send them from. So I also showed you this email yesterday. It was a, a sample of a template that I showed you. But you'll notice down at the bottom, the blue button down there says view Scottsdale properties for sale. And um, I was going to tell you where this is sending, in my case, where it's going and why I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it. Because, you know, it used to be in the day I would go to the MLS and I would set this up for every single one of my new leads that I had. Now, that's a challenge because that's a lot of work for one. But at the same time, you don't always know everything about that person and exactly what they want. Somebody might sign up on your site over something and you could go into the back end of the site and see what it is that they were looking for or looking at. So that's what I suggest you do if you can see what they're looking at. Now, it just depends. Where did they sign up? Where did you get the name? If you were doing something like, you know, ads on Zillow, we know they probably came in as a result of a zip code that you bought. If you were running an ad on Facebook, that was a price range or something. Um, maybe you were offering a buyer or seller guide or something like that. And so in those instances, what do you send? So we're going to talk about all that, but I'm going to tell you that what I have discovered is that when you know that you close less than three to five percent, now the average agent who doesn't have any follow-up in place, when you got stuff set up, you're closing three to five percent of your, and I want to say internet leads. If, you, if you're doing YouTube, that's a different breed. If, you're, if these are referrals, that's different, right? But most of us that are doing this kind of business out of the blue, cold, you know, ad spend or whatever it is, and many of us are doing that, it's hard to get them to respond. So we're talking three to 5%. So if you've got hundred leads, you're going to close three to five of those out of a hundred. Now let's say you get a hundred this month. That's not those that month's worth. It's going to take you three to six months to engage these people. If at minimum to get them to work with you. So you're filling this pipeline up constantly. This is the thing. What you get today is not what you're going to work with today. You're going to be working with them down the line. So you're constantly having to fill this pipeline up. And this is the thing. How are you going to stay in front of them? You got to have your campaigns. You got to send the stuff they want to see. And, and if you don't know what it is they want to see, then we need to figure out what is the best thing that you could send them. Now, if I was running it out on uh, uh, or doing a Zillow, right, for instance, and I knew I was running an ad for, you know, or I was paying for 85255 up in North Scottsdale, well, I'm going to have something set up already pre-built in 85255. And if I am in an area where uh, they might come in from other parts of this, you know, they might just be in the next zip code, or, you know, somebody who might buy up in North Scottsdale probably isn't going to buy down in South Scottsdale. It's because they're looking up in this neck of the woods. You know, my city is 25, about 25 miles long, north to south, I think, something in that window. We have a ton of zip codes in this city. So I know if they're up in this neck of the woods, they might also be looking in 85262. They might also be looking in 85260 because they're closest to... 85255. So I have to keep that in mind when I'm going to set some kind of a search up that will give them search results because I'm not just going to assume they only want that area because they might not. They must they might have just seen a home in that spot that they liked. So when you're considering what you're going to send them and, and creating or wherever you're going to do this, and we're going to talk about where that is, 
you want to make sure that you're thinking, all right, what are all the places that would make sense this person might have an interest in? Now, again, it's all based on how they got to you. What were they looking at? So if you can see on the back end of your website that they were looking and saving certain homes, which most of us who have KB Core, because I know there's a lot of us in here who have that, um, Easy Agent Pro, all of these sites that allow us to get in the back end, you have to get back there and see what's going on because that's important to them. It's important to you because when you can send what you think they want, they're going to stay more engaged with you instead of, you know, ignoring you when you write them. So, and if you send something right out of the chute that is wrong, or you're not sending what they signed up to get, you're going to piss them off. And you know what? They're going to block you pretty fast or unsubscribe. So we want to be engaging with them with something that makes sense for them. Okay. So we have this button down here in our email because I've decided that it makes way more sense for me not to go into the MLS and do this because it takes too much time to do this every time. I don't always know what they want, but if I know I'm running an ad, I'm gonna set something up for that ad, okay? So you need a different, different um, link for every ad you do, every landing page you do, every ad you do, every post you do, whatever it is, you want to do this. You want to send the property listings over and over. And so what I do is um, I want to do, well, I'm selling consistent with what and how they signed up to get from you. For buyers, we're going to send property listings and I'm going to send them to my website. So I'm going to create a page on my site that will have search results on it that I will send. And if you have an IDX on your site, IDX home search, then, and most of us need, to, you really, in order for this to work, you need to have that, okay? If you don't have it, there are ways around it, um, but you really want it. And, and the reason is, is you get search engine optimization every time somebody goes to your site. So that's number one. And even those 95% of people that are probably never going to buy from you or sell uh, will help you grow organically on Google because they're clicking on your site. And that's where you want them. You want them there. For sellers, you're going to send a market or subdivision community market updates weekly. And um, I would do it weekly. On uh, For the buyers, I would send it at least every, you know, because this isn't going to be real time like the MLS. You're going to send them a link that's going to be, it's going to stay real time, the link itself. But when you send it, they're not going to get it every time something new shows up like they do on the MLS. So, um, but that's all right. <laughs> doesn't matter, right? Um, if you're able to send it from the back end of your site, by the way, you can do that because you can go and set up subscriptions. We're going to talk about that. But if you don't know what they want and need, then what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to suggest because if what if somebody came in under like a, a guide or something like that and you don't know because you didn't offer up listings or you didn't offer up a zip code, what I suggest you do is in the area that you work, if you're running an ad in the area that you work where this ad is apparently going out to your audience, you can set up a search that are 50,000 above and below. And it's uh, basically average of price in your neck of the woods and your city that you're working or your area that you're working mostly. So you know, if you're running an ad or you're posting uh, an offer for a guide or something, it might be on YouTube. I know we have a lot of YouTube people that are doing YouTube ads and um, or YouTube uh, videos you know, you might be putting your guide out there in the, in the description. So we just have to be sure that, you know, you're sending them something that's similar. And your hope is, is that they're going to tell you what they really want if that's not what they want, what they want. But they're still going to click on it. I notice I get a lot of people clicking on like the most expensive homes where I live. You know, so we're talking 13, 14, you know, million, you know, and mostly they're just nosy, you know, but you can see it. That doesn't necessarily mean that's what they're looking for. But uh, if you see a lot of that, then maybe it is. And so ideally you wanna create a search result page that's specific to your offer and then send it over and over if you can from your CRM. Now that's where the issue becomes because um, I don't know of any other CRM that, other than mine right now that does what I do. There might be, but I know it used to be a tool that was in some other CRMs out there that they took away. But if you can set something up to send, and I'll show you here in a second how to do it. If you can't, then you can set up a drip campaign in your account that just keeps sending the same email template every few days. And you can set that up. It's just gonna take a little time, but once it's done, 
it's done and then it's the same template. So all in the same link in e every single one of those emails until they tell you that that's not what they want. And when they do tell you, then you need to figure out, well, does it make sense to go to the MLS and set it up? Does it make sense to the, go to the back end of my website and set up because our sites allow us to go in, into the back and set up subscriptions? And that's good too, if you can do that. Um, or, you know, set it up to do it. They're just the time frame. what's their time frame? If they're telling you they're ready to go, I'm going to the MLS and I'm getting that set up over there. You know, it's just really dependent on what they've said to you. Just send something, whatever you do. So you've got the long-term drip campaign that we're going to talk about after this section. And, but this is separate. This is not the same thing as the long-term engagement campaign. This is get them listings. So every lead you get should get these, okay? Is that a great tip? That is a great tip because this is what people want. And um, the other thing you have to keep in mind is just making sure that your links stay active. So if something changes or you change your company and you go to a different website or whatever, make sure whatever that link is coming in from stays the same you know, stays updated because if you move or whatever, in my system, we can add the, and you have to check in your CRM, but we can add the website into my profile area. And that is the code that we put into the letters. So those, if I ever change brokerages, I can easily just go and change it in the profile area and it will automatically change it in every single template throughout my system. So that's really cool, you know.